Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, just wanted to, we're out ice fishing here, uh, came out here yesterday. Um, just wanted to show everybody, we're using the Russian Bear Up 5 tent. It's an eight person tent. I've had a lot of people inquire about these. They were out of stock for a while. We have them back in stock. So I'm just gonna go through that. Just kind of show you my setup here real quick as well too. So what we used last yesterday for power, I've got a 220 watt solar blanket here powering an EcoFlow uh, River 2, so it's their newest one. Show you what's going in for power. I don't know if you can see this or not on the screen. Where are we at? Of course you can't. Awesome. Okay, we are at... I'll show you the video from yesterday. I, I'm going to add that to the end. You can't really see on the screen. Right now it is uh, about 25 after 10. Um, we've got, you can't see on the screen, it's 165 watts going in. But I have a video from yesterday when we were here just after lunch. It was probably about 12.30 or so. And we actually had 221 watts going at one point in time, but you see 220 on the screen. But yeah, um, the reason why I wanted to say why that's important, we're in Canada. We're at 51 degrees north latitude. And for our solar blankets to produce that much power this time of year, um, that's phenomenal. Because we're, it's not like we're in Arizona or Vegas or what have you where the sun's directly above us. We're in a spot where the sun's very low on the horizon still for us. So for us to get readings like that, that's pretty phenomenal. See again if I can shade it. No. Either way, I'll, I'll, at the end of this video, I'll show you the quick two-minute video I did yesterday. But here, let's go over the, the Up5 tent. Because again, a lot of people have asked about this. It's a bit messy. We just finished breakfast and had coffee and bacon and what have you. But this is it. We'll do an outside walk around. Show you how it's set up. I've got the medium stove in here. To be honest, that's all you really need. I've been in this in minus 30 Celsius, and the medium stove is sufficient. Now, granted, I was running birch firewood with that. Uh, this does have two doors. Here's one of the doors. It's not open. It does have the clear windows if you choose to use them, or mosquito netting. Here's one of them right here. One on the other side. I got Kuma, my little helper, coming in. But this is just, again, it's messy because we were uh, we just finished up here. But this gives you an idea for size right here. So here's a stove. That's Kuma, our little helper. And sorry, just because of the sun here, it hasn't, um, it's pretty, it was pretty bright outside. So it hasn't really, it's probably going to seem really dark inside the tent because of that. But yeah, see if we can do that. Like I said, eight person tent, realistically, four people very, very comfortably, even four people and two big dogs. So if we've got Kuma here, who's only three month old Akita. Milo, I don't know where her big brother went. He's around as well. But these are available. Um, it is free shipping in the US, uh, free shipping to Canadian customers as well too. The only difference being as Canadian customers, you do have to pay customs and duties. Um, if it, <laughs> three month old puppy <laughs> but um no awesome awesome tent i used it or we used it with a three layer floor last night which uh definitely made it more than comfortable to sleep on the air mattresses didn't even use a cot last night with it but the build quality on these is phenomenal the heat retention is phenomenal on them um like i said and and the space the availability so if you're looking for something for camping um, for even emergency preparedness. This is a phenomenal tent. I've used quite a few tents in my time, uh, smaller ones, larger ones, ones in the military. And this by far is one of the, the best builds out there that I've found. There's Milo, he's the big brother. But uh, like I said, we do have these in stock. I believe it's the up two tents as well too, which is a three to four or two to four person tent. Um, we do have the medium stoves in stock. There'll be probably a couple other items as well too. There's the three layer floors for both, but you can order those directly from our website. And like I said, at the end of this video, uh, just cause you weren't able to see it on the screen, I'll show you, uh, yesterday when we arrived, which was the 25th of March, I'll show you, uh, the readings that we had with our solar. Cause I think a lot of people will find value in our solar blankets here. Again, just for camping and emergency preparedness cause they're portable and deployable. But either way, and to be blunt, we did not have luck. <laughs> we had steaks. We had steaks last night and it was good. And we had bacon today. So we caught steaks and bacon, no fish. But either way, it was nice to get out of the city. Okay, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I will post this uh, in the next day or two. 
and uh, there'll be links to the Russian bear tents to our 220 watt solar blankets as well too in the description please make sure to like and subscribe um, I know my videos are not as polished as a lot of others to be blunt I don't read from a script I just kind of say it how it is and give the meat and the potatoes information that I think a lot of people would find value in just like I do okay have a great day guys we will talk to you soon and I'll have links uh, in there as well. And like I said, please like, and subscribe if you like our content. Okay. Talk to you soon. There's little Kuma. Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, just doing a quick video here. We're about to do some ice fishing here. We're just getting set up. Uh, I wanted to show you this too. We're at March 25th. Uh, we're in Canada at 51 degrees north latitude. Sun literally just peeked through the clouds and I've got an EcoFlow Delta 2. I don't know... Look at that, 220 watts going in from our 220 watt solar blanket right here. That is awesome. For this time of year, being this far north and for us to get that type of reading, that's phenomenal. That shows you the true efficiency rating of our solar blanket. This specific one is 24.1 efficiency rating. Yeah, we're just, uh, like I said, we're going to set up. I've got a Russian bear tent here. And I will do a video on the Russian bear tent once once it is set up, or I'll just add it to this video. Um, they are now available. And I brought the Up 5 with me, which is a up to an eight-person one. So I will definitely include that in the video as well. So you have that. Here, let me see. Yeah, we're still just under 220 watts going in. And pretty good sun for right now. Oh, wow. Just went up like 4%. That's pretty good. Okay. I'll set up the tent and we'll do a bit of a video on that here in a few minutes so you guys can see all of that. I'm not wearing my mic, so hopefully you can hear me all right. Okay. We'll talk to you guys soon.